This is a Rico, Diana. And you're looking at 20 years federal time. Well, I think you guys are confused because my family runs a bar. I mean, that's a lot of dead bodies for serving cocktails. <gasps> Detective Whitman, mm -hmm. Zeke, Carrie. Carrie Milgram, Jabari Reynolds. Your dad. All the way back to Ramirez. OK. So then who do you really want? You want Tariq or you want Monet? Welcome back to the channel. It's time to figure out which side of the fence you're on. With Diana Tejada, it looks like she's holding it down for the family, but at the same time, she was revealing a little bit of information and she was willing to give up more information if the Justice League was to help her out a little bit because she wants to know who are the feds really coming after? Is it Tariq or do they really want Monet so she can start putting her plan in play and start making things shake. Now, before we jump into this and break down Diana over episode eight, if you're new to the channel and you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, then hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button and follow me on Instagram right here. Diana Tejada, after episode eight, we have to look at her with a different light. She might be one of the realest in the family because Kane and Drew, while she was locked up, they weren't trying to help her and she was trying to help the family out. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Diana Tejada from episode eight. After last week, when we seen Diana get arrested in episode seven, it had us all wondering, how is this Rico gonna start off and take place? Well, the first piece to the puzzle, Diana Tejada. And it kind of caught us all off guard because all of these hardened criminals in the Tejada household, they come for the little angel, Diana Tejada. And of course we thought, Diana's about to get in there and tell everything she knows because she has a history of this. Everyone was confused because no one knew why or how Diana got arrested and where did she get this work from? We know that it came from Poppy. The locker codes came from Tariq. So when Tariq says we were all involved in this, Tariq was right about it. But as far as the feds are concerned, Diana is the easiest target, the lowest piece of hanging fruit that they could get. And if we can get her in, she'll flip on everybody in the family because she ain't really about this life. Once Diana gets down here, we think she's about to give up all the information that she has. She has information on Monet, cookbooks, murders on Drew, murders on Kane. And we're thinking, well, here goes the Rico. Jenny and Blanca are finally about to get what they've been asking for. But we realize that Diana is actually pretty smart and she knows that if they had any charges on her, they would go ahead and lock her up. But right now they're questioning her, trying to get information because they really want the kingpin or the queenpin, depending on who you're asking. Tariq St. Patrick, Monet Tejada. But Diana is smart enough not to say anything. There's a little bit of corruption going on behind the scenes with Cooper Sachs and Dave is looking out for him because Davis will be the representative. But at least for Diana, she's held it down and not said a word about the whole operation. Believe it or not, the simplest thing to do in these interrogations is just to be quiet. 90% of people mess up on it because they're scared, especially someone in Diana's position. Remember, Diana tells the law that she's a first time offender, so none of this is really gonna stick until Blanca brings up that RICO charge. See, Lauren gave up information willingly just for a little blunt that Brusandria left in her room. Diana, on the other hand, she learned from mom, she learned from Poppy, and she knows that I'm not giving up nothing. But if you listen closely, when she asks, who do you want more, Tariq or Monet? This is gonna play out in the long run for Diana on who she could potentially set up. I have a couple theories, but Diana and Monet, as we'll see in this video, they're gonna clash and eventually it's not gonna be able to last between these two. One of them are gonna have to go. Then you insert Davis and Sachs who have their own little riff going on and Sachs is working with the district attorney. Davis, he's trying to protect Diana at all costs because remember, Diana, she gets in here and she likes to run her mouth a little bit and she even admits, what if I did know what was in the packages? And then you hear Sachs asking, so who gave you the codes to the roof? Because he's trying to link everyone together. He even admitted to Jenny that he's ready to start this Rico. The thing is, Davis, Tariq, Monet on the outside, they're trying to help Diana out and keep everyone out of jail, even if it means they gotta set someone up. And that's where we see the piece of paper from Davis go to Diana. And it's telling Sachs all the information he needs so they can go and pick up Effie, which is gonna throw everyone off the trail. Diana, 
We didn't expect it to go as good as the plan went, but Diana is actually the one holding things together because you couldn't expect Drew or Monet or Kane to do this properly. We've all seen the memes. We all laughed about it. We seen first 48. Whenever they bring food into the interrogation room or they're talking to their lawyers, they're about to give up all the information. If you pay close attention to Diana, she's done it before. Remember when Monet had her set up Whitman, she told Whitman that the books were cooked, but then she told the truth about Monet being the cancer. Then in here, it's the same thing. Sax, I need to talk to you. I don't know if I can trust Davis because he might be working in the best interest of my mother and not for me. Monet, her and Diana, they aren't the best of friends. They aren't the closest. Monet is doing everything for Monet to stay out, even if it means sacrificing her kids. So Diana does tell Sax the truth again that, hey, I don't really know if I can trust Davis and Monet, but I have information on Effie Morales. So now the plan is actually working. But Monet knows that if you give Diana some of the truth, she's going to tell the truth and it's going to be believable just because of who she is. She's not in the drug game. She's not known to be one of these criminals in the streets. So everyone believes what Diana tells them. And unfortunately, that's the end of sax. Everything isn't sweet for Diana because remember, it's a dirty game that we're playing. This is the power universe. You cannot trust anyone. So even when Effie shows up after the plan was put in place by Monet, Tariq, and Davis, she openly admits that if the roles were reversed, she would set up each and every one of them so she could get out of this. Now, Diana and Effie, they got a bond, but then that bond was broke because Diana felt like Effie went behind her back after telling her that Tariq wasn't good for her and she was with her. Then Diana popped up with Tariq and Effie was X'd out. So Diana still has to watch her back because we don't know where Effie is going to stand when all of this is done. They say three strikes and you're out. Well, in season three, this is the third strike here. First one, setting up Whitman. Second one, I don't know if I can trust Davis in my mind. And the third one, Monet told Diana that she was slapper because she wants to get out of the dope game. Diana doesn't want any parts of this. Now, Monet was right for at least correcting her because you shouldn't be talking about this outside. But Diana wants to leave. She wants to transfer to Spellman, continue her career. We know that Monet's always been against her going off to school. But since it's paid for, she can go to Stansfield. But Monet needs Diana out in these streets, so she'll always have some eyes and ears. And when it's time to set up a plan, she can put Diana in that position because people would trust her more than anyone else. Diana, when she hops into the truck, you can tell that she's really tired of all of Monet's BS. And that's why I said in the long run, this might not play well for Monet because my theory is they're going to use the information that Diana has and her tactics to probably either set up Monet and have her be the fall person for the whole organization. Because once Drew and Kane figure out that Monet is the one that set up Lorenzo, it's going to be bad for Monet. You heard Lorenzo. He said, Monet, they're going to figure it out and they're going to hate you. Now, Diana, she might be the foundation that is needed because she has information. Kane has information. And once Drew finds out a little piece of that and you piece all three of these together, this might be the end of Monet. Maybe not this season, but next season, it's not too far fetched. All right, let me know what you think about Diana. Is she one of the chess pieces that they need to potentially take Monet out of the game and the crew can go ahead and move forward? Or is Diana just going to keep playing up under the radar like she is, being conservative and not taking any initiative? We've seen Kane buck at Monet this episode. We've seen Diana realize that Monet really isn't as healthy for her as we thought. And Drew, on the other hand, he's just out here running around but he's also noticing that monet ain't moving like she's supposed to so let me know what you think about diana and as of right now is she one of the realest to hottest because the boys they running around doing whatever they got to do monet is backstabbing everybody diana is actually in the interrogation room holding it down throwing the feds off let me know what you think i'm old if you like this kind of content hit that like button hit that subscribe button thanks for watching i'm out